I'm going to explain to do a habit. Or you have to stick to Vivian, because, and then I'll, ch I'll check up on him. Yeah. In the last unit, we thought about school level deployment. Here, our attention turns to classroom level deployment. How teachers and TAs work together during lessons, how TAs can add value to what the teacher does, and how they can help students develop skills around thinking and learning. Let's take a look at the recommendations in more depth. Recommendation two is about uh, encouraging schools, encouraging teachers to use TAs in such a way that will add value to what they do rather than replace them. So it, consistent with this idea of making sure that the children who struggle most get time with the teacher, um, it is about teachers thinking how they can achieve that in the classroom. So that, for example, uh, might involve the, the TA being deployed to work across uh, the classroom so it's in a roving role or with a, a, a group of children while the teacher has five or ten minutes with the children or the child who is struggling particularly uh, during the lesson. Well then William, she doesn't miss a trick. Recommendation three is uh, the one that I often think about as being perhaps the most powerful uh, recommendation in a, in a sort of practical day-to-day uh, -day sense. Uh, what we've learned from the research, uh, from the DIS project, it showed us that there are difficulties uh, in the ways that TAs interact with children, largely as a result of not having had any uh, training to know how to, to ha interact effectively with, with TAs. Uh, so we see uh, features of spoon feeding and um, uh, task completion and prioritising getting the work done rather than learning. All of which is not to blame TAs for that, and we're very clear about that, uh, if they haven't had any training to know uh, what to do instead. So recommendation three is about what are the alternatives to things like task completion and you know, correcting children uh, perhaps too much. The TAs would tend to move towards task completion a little bit early, so they would tend to give too much help too quickly. and. Um, so one of the consequences of that, it was taking away the ownership of, or it can take away the ownership of, of the learner. Um, and so one of the things we're suggesting here is to try and um, support and train teaching assistants so they can understand how to give the appropriate right help at the appropriate time. So we might provide some support around, say, scaffolding. So how they work through just encouraging pupils initially, then maybe doing a bit of prompting, then doing some more kind of cluing, Eventually you might do some modelling where you run through how, a, how, a, how a, a particular kind of question works and only then do you actually then go in and correct at the end of it. So it's just trying to train TAs um, on um, how, to, how to support pupils in developing their independent learning really. What would you expect to see going on with an individual TA and either a single student or a group of students? So they would be working with the pupils so that they are supporting them with the right amount of help at the right time. Um, so they might just initially just let a pupil be work by themselves, they might even let them get stuck, they might let them you know, work through some problems, but then be very caref carefully then introduce support in the right manner so that they'll know when to intervene and when to get involved and when to just take a step back. Um, they might take on a job that's helping the whole class. So they might be, um, um, for example, I heard the other day, doing some literacy support in a science lesson. So just going around, whilst the teachers may be focused on the science, they might be going around and just um, you know, highlighting or doing bits of, bits of work around literacy that complements um, uh, the science teaching that's going on in the lesson. Now we can start to see the connection between school level deployment and classroom level deployment. By focusing on school level issues first, you're then in a position to make a big impact on what happens in the classroom. Over to you. Once you start to make changes in deployment, what would you hope to see more of in terms of TA-teacher interactions? 